Do the Right Thing is a collaborative effort of several organizations, including the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, the St. Louis County Police Department, the Southern Illinois Police Chiefs Association, the St. Louis Area Police Chiefs Association, Commerce Bank, the St. Louis Science Center, Cardinals Care, the Gateway Center, and of course, First Alert 4. These partners work together to recognize the good things that children in our community are doing. And so now I'd like to introduce some important participants of Do the Right Thing. At the helm of this program are our police chiefs here. So to start things off, please help me welcome Glendale Police Chief Jeffrey Beaton, past chairman of the St. Louis Area Police Chiefs Association. Well, thank you very much and welcome. Um, it's an honor for me being the chief of the Glendale Police Department, but also a representative of the St. Louis Area Police Chiefs Association to be here today to, to recognize such wonderful kids for doing the right thing. Um, it warms our heart every single day when we're out in the community and we see our kiddos doing such a great job and, uh, and just doing good things. So congratulations to each and every one of you. We're very proud of you and please keep up the good work. Thank you. And thank you, Chief Beaton, for your unwavering support for Do the Right Thing. Next, please help me welcome from the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, representing Chief Robert Tracy, Lieutenant Thomas Muldrow. Good morning, everyone, and then for the kids, you guys are doing outstanding. Keep up the good work, continue to doing the right things, and then to our family, to our friends, to our staff, to our administrators, Hey, you guys are instilling in the, the most important thing to these kids and doing the right thing. So we look forward to seeing what you guys are going to do in the future because it, as police officers, it makes our job a lot more easier. So continue doing the right things and congratulations. Thank you, Lieutenant Muldrow, for your kindness and department support as well. Next, we have our host for today's ceremony, Colonel Norman Mann, Chief of Operations Support for the St. Louis County Police Department, to say a few words about Do the Right Thing. Good morning. On behalf of Chief Ken Gregory and St. Louis County Police Department, welcome to our home. We're truly proud of you. Your parents, teachers, and the community are proud of you. The future is truly bright because of all, all the things that you have done and, and you will do. Continue to surround yourself with positive people, doing positive things. Your bravery, your commitment to society is truly appreciated. Thank you. And thank you, Colonel Mann, for your support as well. We also have with us some board members of Do the Right Things program. Would our board members in the room, if you're here, please stand. Thank you for being here. The back of today's program explains that today's group shot that we just did will air on First Alert 4 tonight on our News 4 St. Louis broadcast at 6 o'clock. So please set your recorders for a few minutes before and after the broadcast as it can be aired in that time frame as well. Also, please refer to firstalert4.com in the near future for our YouTube channel to see today's ceremony. And also, if you refer to the front and the inside of your program, you'll see the website address for Do the Right Thing in our Facebook page as well. So please like and reference them to see each individual child's story as told during today's ceremony and our upcoming events too. Today's monthly honorees are considered our special winners. So now I'd like to introduce these wonderful children and tell you why they are being honored here today. So first up, we have Pharaoh Barnum Hill from Douglas Elementary School. Pharaoh, come on up, Pharaoh. <laughs> Pharaoh here was nominated by Alicia Mueller, who shared this with us. Pharaoh has started this school year with such ambition and kindness. He has been working so hard these past two weeks. He sits quietly and listens when directions are given. 
Farrow is showing all of the other students how to make good choices by modeling appropriate classroom behavior. He uses his AAC speech device correctly to articulate his wants and needs when necessary. We are so proud of him and how he has started this school year. Keep working hard and you will go far, buddy. Thanks to his leadership and determination, his classmates have a role model at school. And so today we are recognizing Pharaoh Barnum Hill for doing the right thing. Great job. Okay, Pharaoh, can I ask you a question? Can you tell me what you would like to do when you get older? Sit. What? Sit. Sing? 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 He likes to sing? Oh, he wants to be a singer. <laughs> And a dancer, maybe. Okay, we can work with that. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations, Spiro. Next up, we have Anna Bernardini and Zaria McNeil from Douglas Elementary School. <laughs> Making a difference in their community is what we are here to celebrate. Ashley Mundelein, who submitted these nominations, stated this. Anna and Zaria started the school year strong as sixth graders leading the school safety patrol. Anna is one of the first faces that students and parents see when they get to school. Zaria always has a smile on her face and makes sure anyone arriving to school is going to start their day off on the right foot. But safety patrol is not the only amazing thing about both of these kiddos. Anna is one of the most trusted kids in my class. She is always getting her assignments done with such hard work and then finding something productive to do when done. She has a great attitude with an awesome smile and it is contagious. She is one of those students who is just always doing the right thing and I believe that is the kind of leadership this world needs. Zaria is a natural born leader. She is a girl that anyone could look for, could look at for guidance and good qualities. She's a helper and always gets the job done right. Zaria is just an all around great person and is always making sure others are safe and doing the right thing. Thanks to their leadership and responsible ways, they are amazing examples for their schoolmates and all of us here today. So today we are recognizing Anna Bernardini and Zaria McNeil for doing the right thing. Great job. Ashley, are you here by chance? Thank you for the nominations. All right, we'll start with you, Anna. Big question here. What would you like to do when you get older? Uh, no. No way. A vet? Okay, we got a vet. Love that. <laughs> what about you, Zara? And a gymnastics coach. Great choices, both of you. Great job, guys. MJ Braggs from Douglas Elementary School. We are so proud of this nomination. Brandy Dole, who nominated MJ, stated this. The start of our school year has been all about showing kindness to ourselves and others. We have practiced recognizing when others need us to show some kindness. We have worked hard to give ourselves kind words and self-talk when we're feeling sad, mad, or something hurtful. MJ has shown that he can embrace the school community in our ways of kindness. He was recently out on our school playground when another student showed interest in his water bottle. The other student may not have known or had the ability to understand that that water bottle did not belong to him. MJ was very calm when his water bottle was taken by the other student and showed such kindness and patience as the student explored and examined this new item. MJ recognized that the student needed a bit of grace and did not react in a manner that was hurtful or demanding. MJ simply waited patiently with a smile, and it was then that we all realized that MJ has embraced our caring ways at Douglas School for all members of our learning community, no matter their needs. Thank you to MJ for remembering that we can all be kind to all because we are kind kids. Thanks to his kindness and understanding, he's a great role model for our classmates and has made all of us proud. So today we are recognizing MJ Braggs for doing the right thing. Good job. 
Is Brandy here by chance? That is all right. Thank you, Brandy, for that nomination. Okay, MJ, can you tell me what you'd like to be when you get older? Um, a teacher. A teacher. <laughs> Love that. Great job. Congratulations. Kylie Brewer from Douglas Elementary School. <laughs> Riley is nominated for making a difference at her school. Alicia Augustine, who nominated her, stated this. Riley joined our school year from a different district this year. She has come in knowing not a single student, while most of our students have been in school together since kindergarten. Riley has displayed a positive attitude, hard work ethic, and has welcomed all friends her way. She is a great addition to have in our school and shows so many positive characteristics that we wish for in our students. Riley makes it easy to befriend her and enjoy working with her. She is learning great team working skills and navigating her path into a new environment with grace and kindness. We are so very happy to have her here at Douglas Elementary. Thanks to her friendship and teamwork, she has made a difference in the life of her classmates. And so today we are recognizing Riley Brewer for doing the right thing. Great job, Riley. <laughs> Alicia, are you here? Thank you for the nomination. Riley, can you tell me what you'd like to do when you get older? A hairstylist. A hairstylist. <laughs> Great job. Next up, we have Jamez Coker from Dolores Moy Elementary School. So we'll have you stand on this side. Right over here. There you go. They're going to be right there. This young man was nominated by Lene Val, who stated this. I always believe that God places students in my class who need me or I need them. Jamez was moved to my classroom right before the beginning of school due to some class shifts in our grade level. Jamez came to me with a learning plan in place due to his severe vision needs. He had a box of visual aids from a previous teacher, including lights, magnifying glass, enlargement sheets, etc. I placed his desk near our projector screen and close to me. I was absolutely blown away by his courage and perseverance from day one. In my 30 years of teaching, I have never seen a student deal with such adversity with such grace and determination. All day long, every subject, he is focused and working his very best. He never gives up and works extremely hard for every grade he receives. He has had to work three times harder than my other students, and he goes above and beyond. When he struggles to see, he asks for an additional aid to use. On one assignment, he couldn't get the magnification on the screen to work, and he took the poor grade he received in stride and didn't say anything to me. When I saw that he had done poorly on a concept I knew he was knowledgeable on, I asked him about his struggle. He didn't want to use his eyesight as an excuse, and he wouldn't advocate for himself. We had a sincere conversation with one another about him advocating for himself in the future, and even when he moves to other grade levels and teachers, he needs to do so. I also told him that he has already, in a month's time, taught me so much about perseverance, courage, and hard work. On top of being a hard worker, he's a caring friend as well. One of his peers who lives next door to him was absent from school, so Jamez suggested that I give him his friend's missing work, offer to take it to his house, and follow through with getting the work to him so his friend wouldn't fall behind. He knows how it feels to struggle, so his empathy for others is just another great attribute that Jamez brings to our classroom. I am so proud of how he overcomes his difficulties and perseveres to be his best self. I am honored to be his teacher, and I am learning so much about giving grace and doing what I can to assist him as much as possible, because he is often too humble to ask for assistance. I feel that Jamez deserves the Do the Right Thing Award for always keeping a positive mindset about his abilities, even when his physical struggles often create obstacles for him. I am so glad God placed us together, and I look forward to the great things Jamez will achieve in the future. Thanks to his determination and empathetic ways, he has not just shown amazing character, he is making all of us proud here today. 
So today we are recognizing Jamez Coker for doing the right thing. Awesome. <laughs> job. Lene, are you here by chance? Oh, I got to ask you a question before you leave, Jamez. One second. Lene? Thank you for that nomination. Okay, question for you. What do you want to do when you get older? Um, play soccer. Oh, we got a soccer player in here. Okay. I like that. <laughs> Next up, we have Amelia Harder, Charlie Harder, and Mylin Randall from Wolf Branch Elementary and Middle Schools. Stepping up to make a difference in their community is what we are looking at right here. These three were nominated for this award by Kelly Harder, who stated this. Mylin, Amelia, and Charlie rode their bikes to the tennis courts near their house to play tennis. While they were there playing, they noticed a lady across the street screaming for help with her children. They also noticed a man in a car stopping to yell at that lady. The kids stayed where they were, and Mylin called 911 from her cell phone. They gave a description of where they were and what happened, and they then contacted their parents to let them know what happened and to have their parents meet them at the tennis courts. The officer that responded to that scene worked at their school and worked with the three kids to get a report of what happened. The lady and her children stayed with the officers. The children were told by the Swansea Police Department that they did the right thing and interrupted a domestic violence situation. Thanks to their bravery and concern, they really made a difference and are a great example for those around them. So today we are recognizing Amelia Harder, Charlie Harder, and Mylon Randall for doing the right thing. Thank you. <laughs> Kelly, are we in the room? Thank you so much for those. Okay, we'll start with Amelia. Can you tell me what you would like to do when you get older? I want to be a news <laughs> Come with me. Yes, love that one. <laughs> um, Charlie, but what about you? What would you like to do? Oh, Russ, okay. I like these. And then Mylin, what about you? A doctor? And a doctor. I love all of these. Great job, guys. Next up, we have Eleanor Hyatt from Douglas Elementary School. We are honoring a great example here today. This young lady was nominated by Pamela Misich, who stated this. Eleanor has been a member of our Douglas Drama Club since she was in first grade. I've watched her grow and mature into a wonderful role model for our new and younger club members. Eleanor takes it upon herself to attend to the needs of others and assist when needed without being asked or prompted. With over 40 drama club members, it is so helpful to the coaches to have kids like Eleanor who serve as terrific guides for others. It has been such a joy to watch Eleanor blossom into such a caring, sweet, responsible young lady. Thanks to her kindness and responsible ways, she has made a difference in her school community and is an amazing example for us all. So today we are recognizing Eleanor Hyatt for doing the right thing. Right <laughs> Pamela, are you here by chance? Thank you for that nomination. All right, next we have Aaliyah McGee from Douglas Elementary School. Aaliyah's story came to us from Danielle Steigerwald. Her nomination stated this, Aaliyah is a smart, funny, and sweet kindergartner. We are only in the first few weeks of school, and while her classmates are learning proper classroom behavior and how to regulate, this girl has already got it. Need something done? She does it. Be a friend to her classmates? She does it. Follow the rules? She does that too. Do the right thing? She does it. Not only is she always doing the right thing, she is helping this teacher and her classmates learn sign. She has brought a new aspect of learning into our classroom, and we just love having her enrich this school year. 
Thanks to her kindness and friendship, she has shown us all how to make a difference in the classroom. And so today we are recognizing Aaliyah McGee for doing the right thing. <laughs> Michael's story was shared with us by Kelsey Rennick, who nominated him, stating this. Michael always does the right thing, even when others aren't watching. At our skating fundraiser, he saw a younger student trip over a chair, and he instantly stopped what he was doing to help that student get up and made sure that they were okay. He shows integrity, perseverance, kindness, and responsibility every single day. Thanks to his kindness and compassion, he has made a difference in his community and in school. So today we are recognizing Michael Milford for doing the right thing. Kelsey, you in the room? Thank you so much for the nomination. Okay, Michael, can you tell me what you would like to do when you get older? An engineer. An engineer. That's a good one. <laughs> Zoe Patterson from Douglas School, you are up next. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe was nominated by Diana Greva, who stated, I would like to nominate Zoe Patterson for the Do the Right Thing Award. Zoe is caring, compassionate, and genuinely kind. She works hard at achieving her best throughout the day, even when work gets frustrating. On the playground, she is a friend to all, and she seeks out those who need a hug or just someone to play with. She is always willing to add friends to her play group to help make them feel included. In the classroom, she is willing to give up her things to make a friend feel prepared. Thanks to Zoe's character and genuine love for others, the students know they can count on her to be there for them. Zoe shines with her positive attitude and is a joy to be around. Thanks to her positivity and friendship, she has made a difference in her school community and is a great friend to everyone. And so today, we are recognizing Zoe Patterson for doing the right thing. Great job. <laughs> Diana, are you in the room? Thank you so much for the nomination. Zoe, what would you like to do when you get older? We've got another teacher, a potential teacher. <laughs> Next up, we have Addison Trapp from Roosevelt Elementary School. <laughs> Making a difference at school is what we are here to celebrate. Melissa Schwallenberg, who submitted this nomination, stated this. Addison is an amazing student, but even more importantly, Addison is an amazing citizen at Roosevelt School. She goes above and beyond to make sure everything she does is top notch and always does it with a smile on her face. School isn't always easy, but Addison will make sure her work is thought provoking and superb. Another thing about her is she always takes time to welcome new students. Not only does she welcome these new students, but she steps in to help when they need something. Addison doesn't know a student that wouldn't be considered a friend. She will often finish her work and then offer to help others when the teacher cannot get to everyone. In addition, she works hard to get involved in any and all activities at school. She's a member of band, junior optimists, and student service, just to name a few. You can also find her working hard at dance and soccer in the evenings and on the weekends. She makes being a fabulous student and friend look easy. Addison goes above and beyond to be not only a great student, but a fantastic friend and a stunning citizen. Addison is going to do great things in life, and she deserves to be recognized for her hard work and dedication. Thanks to her determination and caring ways, she has made a difference with her friends and at school, and we are so proud of her. And so today, we are recognizing Addison Trapp for doing the right thing. Melissa, are you here? Thank you so much for the nomination. All right, Addison, can you tell me what you would like to do when you get older? A dance teacher. A dance teacher. It's very fitting. <laughs> Great job. And ladies and gentlemen, let's once again please congratulate our Do the Right Thing winners. Great job, everyone.